The popular method in your project is to use the timeline feature. This will show to high level and to summary the milestone level and also your plan over the duration of the project. To configure the timeline we will go to view and in the split view group you will see a timeline so I will just go ahead and click in a timeline you can see this whole box is showing so this display I can just drag my schedule down so I can see it more as you can see here it shows you the start date of your project which is October 20th and it shows you the end date of your project which is the 21 of December also you can notice that it shows you the date of today so in theory anything to the left is what has been done and anything to the right which will be under control so what I will do here I will add my task the time to the timeline and my milestone as well and this will tell me when my tasks will start and finish and typically you keep this one fairly to the high level so the first thing what I will do is we can see our summary tasks which is the preparing walls and doors also prepare walls and doors paint walls and doors and replace furniture so these are my milestones so I will just go ahead and add them to my timeline table and to do that I just go ahead and right click here in the timeline box go to insert text and to click existing task now you can see this small box here is showing as you can see here in this small box let me try to make can we make it big no as you can see here in the small box I'm gonna focus in these boxes which is the empty room not in the subtasks in the summary task room is empty prepare walls and doors room is prepared for paint paint walls and painting is completing it's completed replace furniture and project complete so these are my milestone so if I click OK then these tasks I just did are assigned to the timeline and actually there is different ways that you can manage it here in the timeline uh, some people are using different colors to different uh, milestones which make it easy to the project manager to distinguish between the activities or between the tasks so for example I can click this one and I go ahead and highlighted it for example dark blue I go here and I highlighted it maybe red I go to this one this is my milestone I go to the other one and I can highlight this one let's see this color 
okay or you can drag it upward I think I need to make this one a little bigger so we can see the timeline clear so I'll drag this one up this one up and also you can drag the lines the way or position it the way you want and also this one I can position it the way I want and then so this one also you can also some people will just go ahead and color this one so for example I can go ahead and color this one for example color the test maybe red can color this one green I can color this one uh, this one I want it to be green and as one as, as the way you want it or the way you wish you can color them differently because you want to have it done to the highest level possible Marvel. Okay. Just drag this box little down so it's clear. I also can color my par here so I can just go ahead and maybe put it red or maybe blue and so on so you can color it up in the way you want to and in the way you want to report to the highest level so what we're gonna do now is to copy this one or this is slides to the PowerPoint and uh, send it to whom you as a project manager are reporting to because basically this is what the highest uh, authority management wants to see they won't they won't go and see all these details this details is enough to show them everything related to the project and to do that and copy it to for example to the PowerPoint slides I go to this window I go to right click copy timeline well when you copy timeline you can either send it to email or for presentation or you want to copy the full size you want to copy the full size maybe and paste it in a PowerPoint so we'll just do copy full size and I go to the PowerPoint and I open my PowerPoint and I just go ahead and paste it now you can see it's completely paste here and ready to be sent to your management let's try to make it neat here it's I don't like the numbers showing here I think it's better now okay let's copy this one instead uh, right click copy time full size go to the PowerPoint and just do undo here and copy this one again it's a picture 
No, it's nice and neat. Okay, I can go to slideshow. There you go. It's nice and clear and it shows timeline presented. And this is the best way to report to the highest level.